Umar radiallahu anhu saw a man is walking like this. Umar radiallahu anhu whipped him. He whipped him. And he said, may Allah destroy you. For do not destroy this deen. Muslims are meant to be motivated people. You know, you're sitting at the Shisha lounge. You know, Shisha lounge, bro, I want to revolutionize the world. Bro, we got to take Palestine over. It doesn't happen like that. Many of those, you know, people who, mashallah, who are religious, who pray five times salah, but that's as far as they go. And somebody's told me and you that we are religious. Somebody's told me and you because we come to the masjid, because we have a beard, because you have a hijab. And Alhamdulillah, these are all part of the deen. But somebody's told us that you're practicing. Let me tell you, he's lied to you. He's lied to you. So we have in our mind that I'm practicing, bro. I don't need to do anything more. The person's lied to you. When Shifa bin, when Shifa bin to Abdullah, she saw a group of people and these people, you know, they spoke very softly. They walk like this, you know, walk like this. She said, who are these? And she was told these are Zuhad. These are people of abstinence. These are people who stay away from the dunya. And she said, I saw Umar ibn al-Khattab. I saw Umar ibn al-Khattab. And when Umar spoke, you could hear him. When he walked, you couldn't keep up with him. And when he struck you, you would feel it. And she said, by Allah, there was no greater Zahid than Umar ibn al-Khattab. There was no greater Zahid than Umar ibn al-Khattab. Why? Because these people had sat with the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They had seen a man on a mission. A man who was motivated for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The Sahaba say, when the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would walk, we would find it impossible to keep up with him. Because he was a man on a mission. He was a man who was going somewhere. He had the intention. And I ask you, what's your mission? What's your mission in life? What do you want to achieve in life? What's your focus in life? Do you actually have a focus? What do you want to achieve? And I'm looking, I'm speaking from Islamic perspective. And look, there's people who are from, you know, different, different levels, different standards here. But every single person should have an aspiration. Every single person should have a focus. So what's your aspiration in life? If there are people here who are not praying, then you need to start praying. But you need to put a system in place which will allow you to pray. You know, you hear brothers, you know, family members, they're all saying, oh, Uncle, I'm going to start praying soon. See him six months later, Uncle, I'm going to start praying soon. What have you done to start praying? What is stopping you from praying? Is it the TV? Get rid of it. Is it the PSP? Get rid of it. Is it your friends, your companies? Then get rid of them. Send them a text message. There's a few, there's some changes I'm making in my life. And if you don't hear from me again, then you're one of them. I'm not only joking there. But make a change, make a change. If you are praying, then how much Tilawatul Quran do you do every day? How much do you read of the Quran? How much dhikr do you do? How much about the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do you learn? Where do you want to be after a year? People for businesses, they have a hundred year business plan. And you see brothers and sisters, who have been practicing for 10, 15 years and they are exactly where they were. They are exactly where they were. A story comes to mind that a group of young men, they were sitting by the Kaaba. The young men were very pious young men. Musab ibn Zubair, Urwat ibn Zubair, both of them, the sons of Zubair ibn al-Awam radiallahu anhu, Abdullah ibn Umar and Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. All four of these were sitting by the Kaaba and they say this is a holy place. So Musab ibn Zubair says to the rest, 
desire. Desire something. So they say, you start. So he says, I desire to marry the daughter of Hussein radiallahu anhu, Sukaina, and the daughter of Talha ibn Abaydillah, Fatima. And I also want to be the governor of Iraq. And they all say, Ameen. And the time comes that he marries both of them and he becomes the governor of Iraq. Then they ask Urwat ibn Zubayr radiallahu anhu, what do you want to be? And he said, I want to be a muhaddith. I want to transmit the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that they say, Ameen. And the time comes that he also, he also becomes a muhaddith. His dua is accepted. Then they ask Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. They ask him, what do you want to be? He said, I want to be the Khalif. And they all say, Ameen. And the time comes that he becomes the Khalif. And then they ask Abdullah, the son of Umar ibn Khattab. They said, what do you want to be? He said, what do you desire? Tell us what do you desire? He said, I desire Jannah. I desire Jannah. And inshallah, he attained what he desired for. But these men didn't just desire, they worked for it. They made an effort for it. Allah, Allah, Allah.